Hey everyone, it's Erno here and today I'm going to show you how to play Fizz on the mid lane with best builder rules and I'm gonna provide some tips on how to play him playing against Twisted Fate so we always wanna play with Electrocute and let's start with E first alright, so his E makes Fizz unforgettable and after nearly one second upon releasing your E you deal magic damage slowing an enemy and with single cast you also deal extra damage to subsequent targets oh he actually used his card quite fast i thought he's gonna select something like a stun card but usually you wanna type your e to avoid some ability of your enemy and at the same time just wave clear back And when you cast your E twice, you can close further distance. But the drawback is that you actually don't do damage to subsequent targets. Alright, let's not overextend. This is great against squishies, so I just have to be patient. Early game against some matchups, it is like this. Okay, he's dead. So that was an example of E flash. Where you can try to predict your enemy movement. Usually when the enemy is low and you're doing this as a finisher, you can just flash guessing direction. Landing just where your enemy wants to land with his flash. It might seem hard to predict, but it's usually obvious when the enemy is low HP. It's guaranteed that they will flash. And for now I'm just gonna back. Alright, we're getting Leech Bane and it depends on the game. If you play against something where you can just go in with all combo, then it's okay to take Shin, other than that short trades with more AP. I could have even gone for this. But I will do an auto attack reset with W. They wanna use my E now. Alright, so whenever you manage to kill a unit with your W, you get the cooldown back. I mean, it's refunded. And your W is an auto attack reset. As for Q, which is a dash, it applies on hit effects, so early game you can do this. I did the slower combo with Osa and W, just for the auto reset. Alright, seems like he's backed. Don't forget to seek for roaming options. Actually look at this bot lane, I might try something. The W reset is great, especially because Fizz is mana hungry early, but seems like they're back in and yeah, bot lane didn't really stop them. We could try to dive low now, but I don't have level 6 yet. It's probably not going to work out. Nope. Okay, and that way you can avoid stuns too. You can see you can be creative with that. And as for the W combo, which is an auto attack reset, but also W, once you get enough damage, you simply want to have your W prepared and just Q. Because your Q will apply the effect of W, since like I said, it applies on hit effects. Now auto bet, you launch a fish that goes in and stops upon the first target. Not minions. Then it slows and after a while 
it that night. I wish I was closer because I would interrupt EF salt. Right now I'm too far away, so I'm just gonna push. It just happened, okay. Like your allies have to be extra aware when they play against EF because he can just go like here and out, right? So they should have guessed. I could have pinged, but I didn't expect him to actually go in like this. He did it quickly. Alright, so we wave to like this once more. Your ultimate knocks up and it also takes some time for it to deal magic damage. The damage is based on distance traveled. It also knocks back everything else upon the knockup. And while being close range you can do Q auto bet. You have your ult applied at the enemy and that will be guaranteed assuming you won't press it too quickly. Because if you do it too fast, somehow Sometimes it doesn't attach to a target. Maybe it's a bug where I have noticed. Alright, let's roam this time. Maybe I use my E because I'm gonna get another one soon. Oh, actually a dive. I was like, where is that girl? I didn't have to hold. Well, now I can. I think we can try to kill Echo. Oh no, range. And I have decided to do QW because I wouldn't have time to ult as a reset. There was a slight chance to do that actually. And that was an example of ult. You can also ult flash. And using the fact that your Q can actually animation cancel, you can dash on something like a minion or first target and just ult. That way your ult will just release quickly. So we always want to get Leech Bane, it's such a good item for this. Also granting speed. Okay, he took a lot of damage, might just choose to back but it's fine. I actually have good synergy with Skarner, I think, so we can try something. Well, Caitlyn keeps overextended, so... It's a free kill every time. And we got Echo. Action is to play safer when there's TF around. But I guess she's tilted. Anyway, we can carry this. So you see, excessive use of your E actually drains this mana bar. You can also play of mind in your runes if you want but triumph is usually better pay attention to your mana bar like currently i have only enough to do a single combo but that's 
excluding ultimate. I could do the full combo now. Usually you wanna take some HP from your enemy first, like triggering electrocute. Like he was asking for it, like look. Oh, what? You actually have this? I didn't notice. I only saw him having Rod of Ages and didn't think he actually went for this already. So yeah, he's going for that safe choice. And you can escape like this through minions to make a safer trade. I spammed too much, so I don't have mana anymore. I can still bait him for Skarner. And I'd be able to dash to right. Yeah. Okay, he took the bait. Oh, what? Anyway, he's dead because there's other part of your W which causes your enemy to bleed. Taking magic damage over 3 seconds. And as for your passive, it makes you ghosted, which means you can ignore minion block. And you also take reduced damage from all sources, which scales with ability power. Next, it's a good idea to take an hourglass and in this case, playing against such team comp. I'm just going for it. Add once more, they're overextending. Right now, it will be just worth to focus on pushing. I think we've got Kogmo. So if you don't really have to, you don't need to E of course. You can save it for something else. Your Q also works when you press an hourglass at the end upon reaching the enemy. Okay, he's not doing this. Gonna help Yasuo. Can be helped or not. But he's dead already. It's just rare case where TF roams more than Fizz. It happens because it's TF. Usually Fizz can roam harder. Especially when you play against some control mage. And don't forget about Lich Bane procs. Once every 1.5 seconds. I'm not gonna out because he has his hourglass still. That would be a waste. Destroy this, he's just baiting you. Okay, ignite for this one. We separated them, right? And we can buy some time, wait for cooldowns and engage again. Okay, card got baited but I don't have mana anymore. That's why I play Prince of Mind sometimes. You see how useful it is. So close. But yeah, no mana. So... Since Fizz can't struggle with mana with this build, some people actually play this item on Fizz. Your team has destroyed a turret. Which doesn't seem bad. Oh, 
But we're gonna finish an hourglass. And next we go Shadow Flame. You can also go for that cap. But I didn't have enough gold for this item. And then use the Q out combo because sometimes it bugs. All right. Okay, he's dead. I didn't need that ult. I can just do E and this. But remember, you have to do Q ult just to do it faster. Unless you cannot reach with Q. Hey, that was quick. Your turret has been destroyed. They won't catch me. Since he's so mana hungry, it's not bad to actually go for a mana item. Right it. If you play against tanks, you can even go the new burning item. Storm Surge was good on this. Let's actually try going Lost Chapter. And you can play with that item first if you want. You can use the build included at the start of the video. If you're really ahead early, I guess you don't need to go mana item. And an hourglass counters fizz. He's also extra tank with that Rod of Ages. That's why I really like going Lich Bane with Storm Surge. That should do, but that TF. Oh, he's dead. We have four. Right. Storm Surge used to be a really nice addition in terms of damage, but the item got nerfed. The only use of that is to snowball early game if you're doing really well. That means you can go Lich Bane into Storm Surge. This rock guy is so tilted, like what's up? Also, I think Lona is just buying time. Nice. I'm gonna triple. Let's do some objective. What can we do? Push mid. Can we actually do Baron already? They 
you can of course gap close to walls. Okay. Then panic. Waited for my cooldowns. I guess I can know. Not being focused. Sometimes you need to save your E, of course. But in this case, it's fine and TF doesn't have enough damage. Let's go towards that cup. Yeah, like this mana item really helped. 600 mana pool is so impactful for fish. Like, look at this. I have blue buff right now. I'm aware of that, but still. Let's try Baron. We can trap first. This is great for traps. I guess we're not gonna do this. And they just avoided face check alright. Make sure to kill priority targets. Do not waste your ultimate on something like Leona unless you want to disengage like I wanted here. Now we strike. Just make a trap, you don't have to engage. It's Yasuo though. You might have his Yasuo syndrome and just try to go in. It depends if they have vision there or not. But they will have to face check, I think. This is our chance. You can try that a lot as fizz. See? They're coming. And now they took unnecessary poke. And I just do this. They lost vision again. See how effective traps are? Oh, it's warded, probably. Oh, it's actually making an engage. Nice. Okay. I don't need to chase him. That's another triple and that's it. You see, you don't have to make an engage first. And what you do, make sure to keep your E or have an hourglass. It has so much damage. Now we just focus on this. And he got baited. See? Trying to bait Echo. Add another bait. <laughs> oh. Seems like I won't have to buy that cup. Is she already? Okay. Most main phases for fish are easier. This game was a bit different because of TF constant roaming, but thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this and that you learned something about this on how to play him. If you enjoyed, you can like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what would you like to see next. And you can check out my stream and my other channel in the description.
Thanks for watching and see you next time.